It's almost time for the big celebration to begin. The Pride Parade and Festival symbolizes the progress made by San Diego's LGBTQ community. But as flags are waved, as the good times roll, it's worth remembering that an important part of local LGBTQ history is not found in Hillcrest. It's here in Point Loma, across the street from what is now Liberty Station. It's a below-ground bar, originally called the 19th Hole, a tip of the hat to the golf course across the street, which has also been here for a very long time. 1924 is as far back as we could find any records of its existence. That's Karen Sherman. She's owned the place since 2000, but she took over running it in 2015. It was started by some Navy wives who were avid golfers and just wanted a place of their own to hang out, but they didn't legitimately have it until 1933 when the end of Pro Prohibition. So it was a bit of a speakeasy during that period of time. Sherman says it was the 19th hole until a big storm in 1951 blew down the sign, and sometime after that, it began to be known simply as the hole. The bar's newest logo is an homage to its original name. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of its heritage. Crosby Roper is the general manager here. He's also Karen Sherman's son. Family and business is always a little bit rough, like, but, you know, we both love each other and we both, you know, despite everything, we always have each other's back. And mother and son share a mission when it comes to the whole, a common purpose. This bar is such a part of the community, and it's so important to the community, that that's to me what its attraction was. Seeing the community come together, seeing people that, that may not have a lot in common, find common ground, and be able to reach each other on a human level. Long before the internet, gay bars were the primary places, safe spaces where the LGBTQ community came together. That was kind of where what we know today as a gay community kind of evolved because... Art Smith is a historian of sorts. He founded and runs the Gay Bar Archives, an online compendium of gay bars past and present. He says the whole is like a lot of gay bars across the country that were established near military installations. You may know that Liberty Station used to be the Naval Training Center, and of course the Marine Corps Recruit Depot is still around, just down the street. These people, for the first time, uh, were displaced from their families. You know, if you think about our history as a country, for decades um, and centuries even, people stayed close to home. But when the war came along and all these people were drawn out, when they came back, they found themselves in a, in a new environment and got to explore a different aspect of themselves. So I guess we can kind of give the war some credit for the evolution of the, of the gay community. Smith says The Hole is at least the third oldest gay bar in the country. He says it very well may be the oldest. The problem, he says, is that it's hard to pin down dates of when gay bars actually opened. So we have to rely on documents like um, police raids, um, you know, exposés in the media, um, a variety of different things, military notices because the military was infamous for banning people from going to bars that they suspected were, you know, uh, inappropriate places for military, which usually meant they were, you know, gay or lesbian. One thing Smith says is certain, the whole is the oldest gay bar that's always operated in the same place. Back at the bar, and its impressive history aside, there are the day-to-day -day challenges and annoyances of doing business here. And I apologize for the plane noise. It's the, we, we the Point Loma pa Point yep. Loma Paws, as we all call it. Like many homes and businesses in the Point Loma area, the hole sits right under San Diego International's takeoff flight path. But what you might think is a negative, Karen Sherman says, is actually a positive. <laughs> The airplanes in some ways have saved us from noise complaints because everyone around here, every residential unit around here and commercial unit around here took advantage of the FAA um, noise mitigation measures. Exactly, the Quieter Homes Program. Let's get down to business to defeat the 
We shot this story on a Thursday. Early in the evening, the rugby and softball teams, the bar sponsors were here. But as the sun set... And though you don't believe that they do, they do come true. Things picked up. There was karaoke. It's a really uh, caring, open environment that people can come and feel safe and, and have a good time. Do you know it's 100 years old? No! Is it 100 years old tonight? Oh my well, god, well, this, this year. year. This yeah. year. Wow, how and cool! From pre-prohibition to the supposedly dry years of prohibition, to World War II, right through the rest of the 20th century and a quarter of the way through the 21st, San Diego's oldest gay bar survives as not only a repository of local LGBTQ history, but also a place to feel safe, to be in community, and to have a good time. John Carroll, KPBS News. 